Hello everybody, my name is Bilal Naeem and I'm company, calling from a company called Electronic Frontier. So we're a, a distributor for, for Yeastar and Yealink and uh, joining me today is uh, Jason New from uh, Yeastar. Hey and guys. we will be Hello. And uh, we will be uh, discussing the um, Yeastar and uh, Yealink sort of collaboration and solution for the um, Panasonic <clears throat> um, presentation today. So um, I'll just hand you over to to Jason uh, just for his own introduction, and then we can uh, we can take it from there. Okay. So all right, uh, all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining our session today, and good morning. Uh, thank you so much for your time. So today we're actually going to talk about this new solution. You know, as we know, Panasonic is currently out of the market. So definitely lots of customers, they are looking for something new, some replacement solution. Uh, so for today's session, I guess we're actually going to talk about something special, which is going to be, uh, you guys can see it's kind of like a bundle solution. Uh, we put Yaster and Airlink together to provide you guys a future-proof solution. All right. So here we go. Uh, first of all, I would like to show you guys this agenda. This is going to be a brief introduction about the agenda. What are we going to talk about in today's session? Take a look. Uh, first part, I will introduce you guys about our Yaystar system. And uh, the second part, I will just talk about more details of our Yaystar solutions. All right. And the part three will be A-Link products. Uh, some introduction about A-Link products, uh, you know, something like uh, IP phones or something. Anyway. For part three, I will, I guess I will just hand it over to uh, Bilai. Uh, he will just give you guys an uh, introduction about the Ailing products. And part four will be, uh, it's kind of like a short summary talking about the use cases. Uh, and the last part will be our special bundle offer for today's session. All right. So I guess this is about the time for us to get started. And uh, if you guys have any questions in the session, please just drop your questions in the chat panel. All right. Uh, you guys can just drop, drop your questions there anytime. You, you can just jump in and I will just take a look there. I can just take a pause, see uh, what do we have there. Okay, here we go. Now, first of all, guys, let's think about this. Currently, like I said, Panasonic solution is out of market. Lots of customers, they're waiting there. They need a communication solution. But the point is, the question is, exactly what kind of solution is supposed to be a proper one for our customers? All right. I mean, there are many choices. You can definitely find another replacement, which is a very basic IP-based communication platform. I mean, a very normal PBX. That could be a solution. But point is, is that really what our customers is looking for? I don't think so, especially in the local market in UK. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure lots of customers, they will like to have something more dynamic because this is just the opportunity. I mean, especially, you know, last year, this year, the current situation, as we know, we got this pandemic issue. It really sucks, but it totally changes the way how we communicate. So definitely this is gonna be the opportunity for everyone, even for our customers, even for end users. Definitely this is just, I mean, right now, it's just a moment for everyone to start thinking about exactly what kind of solution will be a pretty good solution for our communication. Uh, they actually need to start thinking about that right now, right? Seriously. So I guess the better solution right now, the best idea for every single customer uh, under the current circumstances is going to be a future-proof solution. I mean, you're not going to have some replacement, which is another option of basic PBX only. You're supposed to think about your communication, exactly what you're going to have in the future. So here comes the deal. A future-proof solution, then... What does it look like? What is a future-proof solution? Now, I guess for a future-proof solution, it's supposed to be something more dynamic, more comprehensive, uh, comparing, with, comparing with the traditional communication platform. This platform is supposed to be something special. First of all, more and more customers, they are going to work remotely. This is just the situation, current situation. So if they work remotely, they really need this kind of flexibility for remote working. That's so important. And talking about remote working, you know, the thing is, the, the truth is, we're all going to stay in our house, remote office. We're going to use our smart devices. I'm pretty sure nine times out of 10, we're going to use our smart devices for our daily work. So lots of things are based on our computer, our mobile, even your communication. That basically means we're going to need more unified communication functions. 
The UC functions are so important for now. Not like many years ago, not like previously. Um, I, I mean, previously probably uh, the only solution I need there is just a platform which can help me to make a call. Pretty simple. But now the communication platform for me is supposed to be something special. It's supposed to be something which is capable for everything, not just for making calls. It's supposed to be a dynamic system for helping me to manage my contacts, for helping me to see my internal users, my colleagues' presence, for helping me to start a video call, to start an audio call, or maybe start a video conference like that. That will be something what we're talking about. And also, by the way, we're, we are talking about future-proof solution here, right? So think about it. A future-proof solution is also supposed to be more dynamic, right? Mace, the system is supposed to be uh, open to third-party integrations. Uh, you know, for example, like, uh, here's the deal. Some people, they're using uh, something very, very popular, like Microsoft Teams, right? For your team collaboration. Then let me ask you a question. Is that system supposed to be able to integrate with Microsoft Teams? Anyway, that was just an example. So the point is, this solution is supposed to be a dynamic system to integrate with more third-party applications for helping us to expand the functionalities on the communication platform. All right. And also, uh, the last point you guys can see here, I also put another point. Cloud communications ready. Uh, Maze, a future-proof solution needs some flexibility. It, it, it's, we're, we are also supposed to be able to provide our customer some other choices. Like if you don't want an on-premise solution, uh, then you probably need to th think about, you, you can probably th start thinking about a call solution. So the answer is going to be yay star because uh, first of all, we have on prime solution. And secondly, we got, uh, we got a call solution, of course. Now, anyway, let's just take a look on our on prime solution first. All right. So for our on prime solution, we have, uh, we're going to talk about today is going to be the P series PBX. This is a new system, honestly, guys. Uh, we launched our PCR system by the end of October 2020, uh, which is last year. It's a brand new system, but it, it's, it's totally different comparing with the traditional uh, communication platform. Now, let's just take a look. Our vision on PCR system is kind of like, kind of like a, we call it beyond just a PBX. Means we're not going to create something, you know, just another PBX. We actually would like to make the PCRs be something else more than a PBX. So if you deploy the PCRs system in your office, of course, uh, this is still going to be a PBX, right? So still, all the key telephony features are going to be supported on this box with no doubt. But besides that, you will be able to have something else. Uh, let's take a look one by one. Uh, let's see, uh, here's, a, here's a question. Uh, hey guys, does this system integrate with system one and uh, Amos, Amos, Amos? I don't know, I'm so, sorry, CRMs. You used it in GP uh, surgeries. Uh, okay, for that integration, uh, currently, I guess we do not support this CRMs, but I think it's possible, probably it's possible for us to figure that out. Uh, anyway, our technician, is, uh, he's also in the channel, so let him just confirm with that, all right, because he's the tech guy. He, he can probably just confirm with that, can we, can we support this integration with that particular CRM, all right. Uh, anyway, thank you for the question. I will just keep going, all right. So let's take a look on this. Like I said, besides the basic telephony system, besides that, we can do something else. So take a look. First thing first, let's talk about the unified communication solutions. For every single customer, let's see for every individual users, what is the unified communication solution? The unified communication solution is supposed to be something really easy to use based on their smart devices, right? So our answer is quite clear. We got a something called Yaystar Linkus. Uh, it's a free application, first of all. You can get this free application from Google Play, App Store. Uh, that's totally available for your smart devices. And besides that, we have another option for Linkus, which is Linkus Web Client. So generally speaking, you got a three options to deploy our UC solution on your smart devices. And the point is this Linkus application and Linkus Web Client, it's really easy to use, guys. I will show you guys in the live demo a little bit later. You guys will see it. It's really easy to use. So it means uh, there's no technical threshold for people to learn it. I mean, especially under the current situation, you need a remote working solution. You need something easy to use. Well, I guess you can start to use it directly because you don't need to spend extra time to learn it. And the point is, another point is, 
this UC application, this UC clients, uh, provides you a whole bunch of unified communication functions. For example, you will be able to use this application and this web client for your internal user's presence management. Uh, you know, like manage your presence, check the presence, right? You can also use it for making calls. Well, not just audio calls, but you can also have a video call. And you can also have you can also use this web client for video conference feature. So these are all for your unified communications. Uh, but anyway, that was just a few examples. I will show you more details in the live demo a little bit later. Okay. Besides that, we also have another professional solution on the PCR system. It's called call center solution. Uh, this is going to be a call center solution for inbound call center mostly. We're not talking about outbound call center, right? Because it's different. We're just talking about a call center solution for helping our users, our uh, SME users, to manage their service team. I'm pretty sure lots of business users out there, they're running their business by, uh, I guess, like a sales department, tech support, service center. Anyway, so many a bunch of people that are using telephony system to handle you know, lots of incoming costs from customer size. So uh, here's the deal. Normally you can use Q feature to do such a job, but if I ask you a few questions, you've got to know a way to do that. For example, if I just want to know, hey, how many incoming costs do we have there totally? How about our customers call average waiting time? What is the average talking time? What is the SLA performance? Anyway, on a traditional PBX, you've got to know a way to know that but now we have this built-in call center solution. It's based on our P-Series system, and also we have web client, don't forget that. So you can totally use your web client with a visualized panel to manage your team performance. It's gonna be a real feedback uh, for showing you all the statistics, all the you know data report, whatever you prefer to have to manage your service center, to manage your queue. Uh, and of course, you can use it for, uh, to, to manage your presence, like I mentioned before. And also we get operator panel based on your web client. I, I guess operator panel is not a big deal, but this is a pretty good example, uh, which tells us exactly, which just presents us exactly how we simplify the user experience by p system. Let, let me talk about, let me just tell you guys an example. On a traditional PBX, if you're working as a receptionist, so it means you're gonna handle lots of incoming costs from the customer side. So normally you're supposed to use lots of feature codes for call management. It's really complex. Now this time we have a better solution. We have an easier solution, which is the operator panel. You can simply just jump into your web client, check on the operator panel. It's a visualized panel, tells you everything. For call management, like a call transfer, uh, call recording, uh, like uh, call parking, anyway, I don't need to use a feature code. What is the feature code? It really doesn't matter because I can use this visualized panel with my mouse. I can just use mouse click for everything. All right. Uh, and also we got a built-in context management. So uh, the p system is really, I mean, the capacity is huge. For example, if you're using P570, you'll be able to have 500,000 company contacts. Uh, so that's, that's a lot, right? Uh, and also, this is going to be a pretty good solution for remote working because we provide you guys an encrypted private tunnel for remote access. It makes you don't have to figure out anything on your network configuration anymore because network configuration for remote working, it's complex and it's not secured. Now, this time, forget about that. We provide you remote access service for remote working directly. So generally speaking, this is why we call P-Series is going to be a solution beyond just a PBX, uh, of course. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, we totally have three models this time on the P-Series system. We have P550, P560, and P570. Totally three models. And as you guys can see the photo here, the photo I po posted here, uh, if you want to make your system be a custom system, I mean, if you want to make your system be a hybrid solution, definitely they support it. So you can have our Yaystar modules, you can use our modules for plug and play. So you can customize some interfaces, like if you need FXS, FXO, E1 channel, anyway, you can just customize the first, uh, the front side panel, you guys can see here. And also we got a built-in NFC tag. So what is the NFC tag? Uh, pretty simple, this, this NFC tag is very interesting. If you got a brand new system, Normally, when you try to start your configuration, you're supposed to use your computer, uh, Ethernet cable, you connect the system, you jump in, you start your configuration, it's complex. 
Now this time, you don't need to do that. The only thing you're supposed to do now is just grab your mobile, use Yaystar Lancus mobile application, and there's one option. I, I think there's a button on your Lancus application. It's called NFC. You click on that. Uh, you just tap it, and you can use your mobile NFC. Scan the Yaystar logo on your P Service PBX. Uh, there you go. You can actually configure the network settings for your PBX directly. Even there's no power supply, guys. Even you never connect the power on your system, but you can do it right now. And uh, the rest of your work is pretty simple. Just connect the power, turn it on, and there you go. Your system gonna work on your configuration automatically. So it's pretty easy for everyone, not just for end user, not just for individual users, but also for IT managers. You know, you got a brand new system, you don't know how to get started. Hey, how about you use the mobile? Simplify your job now. And here's the parameters, just have a quick look, guys. Like I said, totally three models, they can support from 50 users to maximum 500 users. Uh, definitely a solution designed for SME market, of course. And just like I mentioned, if you wanna make the system be a hybrid solution for analog, uh, digital, you can do it. So P550, P560, P570, you guys can see they can support FXS, FXO, BRI, uh, some of them can also support E1, T1, and J1. It's totally customizable. All right. So don't worry about the you know solution. Don't worry about if I have a project, is that possible for me to make the system be a dynamic solution? Yes, you can do it simply by using our modules. Uh, I'm pretty sure some of you guys are quite familiar with our modules if you're familiar with our S-Series PBX. So it's going to be the same thing. You know, just little tiny chip. You fix this module on your system by plug and play. There you go. You will have a very dynamic solution for the project. Uh, so it's it's sounds very funny, guys. It's kind of like a Lego. Yeah, just plug and play. I don't need to do anything. I will just take module. I'll fix this module on the system. Then there you go. I will just be able to activate that port for FXS, FXO, or digital channel anyway. Okay. So the solution will work as this. Uh, take a look. You can definitely put your P-Series PBX in your office, uh, be a very hybrid, very dynamic system, of course. Like if you have PSD in line, you have ISD in channel, you can connect them with your PBX by plug and play directly. Or maybe you have some analog phone. You can also deploy your analog phone in your office directly uh, by this, by plug and play, of course. And on the other side, we're just gonna deploy our PBX in the local area network. Uh, for example, in my topology here, we're just gonna use the ethernet cable, connect our PBX with our router. That's it. And all of your IP phones will be registered on your PBX by auto provisioning. Don't forget that, guys. We are talking about the Yaystar and A-Link solution today. So if you have a bunch of A-Link IP phones, you don't even have to worry about the phone deployment because log into your system, you can see there's auto provisioning. So simply just click on your mouse. All of your IP phones are gonna be deployed on your system automatically. Uh, and also, by the way, guys, just don't forget the unified communication solution I was talking about at the very beginning, which is called Yaystar Linkus. So on the other side, people who's work remotely this time, all right, you can use your you know, MacBook, your computer, your mobile, anyway. If we're using your mobile or computer anyway, you can go access our App Store, Google Play, anyway, get the application. It's called Lancus. Or if you're using your computer with browser, well, forget about the application. Just use your browser, jump into the system directly because there's another option, Lancus Web Client. So you're gonna be connected, of course, wherever you are. And besides that, if we're talking about a project, uh, sometimes we need a more analog phones or more analog channels, uh, don't forget, we also provide you guys Yaystar gateways. Uh, we have gateway for analog, for digital, many models, so you can take our gateways for the project, of course. So this is gonna be a very flexible solution for any kind of, you know, you, uh, using scenarios. All right, now let's talk about the solutions, okay? So previously, that was a brief introduction about the P-Series system. Now let's take a look on the solutions. First of all, I would like to talk about the UC solutions for our business users, which is quite popular for now. All right. The unified communication solutions for our customers now is totally based on Lancus. Uh, the, exactly the, 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 the solution for every single individual user I was talking about before. So every single individual user, they can use Lancus as the application if they prefer. If they don't want to use the application, you can use your browser. Uh, we also have the web client. 
So it's very flexible, uh, very simple. And uh, here's the application. That's a free application, first of all, guys. So if you want to use the application, you can go access Google Play, App Store, or you guys can click on, uh, I think, our website, uh, www.yastore.com. You can get this application for your Mac, for your PC right now. Just take a look there. It's a free application. All right. With this application, you will be able to manage your internal user's presence. Uh, very important for UC, right? You can also have the instant message feature on it. Uh, so share, share, share documents, whatever you want to do, just go ahead. And the CRM integration is also supported uh, with this application. So if you're using the PC application on your, on your computer right now, you can integrate your Linkus PC application with uh, I guess a few a few CRMs like a Salesforce, Dynamics 365. Anyway, you can just do it. And also we get a click to call feature if you don't want to use the web client. I mean, if you don't want to use the web client, you just want to use the PC client. Well, you can use the click to call feature for a simplify your job. But how about you try the web client? That's much easier. I will show you guys in the live demo. Okay. Uh, anyway, these are a few key features we have on the application. So first of all, if you want to use the application, your application works in this way. All right. So I got a few screenshots. You guys can see uh, the first two big screenshots are get from the PC client. So it works like this. You can start a group chat. You can start up, you know, uh, by using using your uh, PC client to start a call, whatever you prefer. And uh, the, the 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 bottom side here is going to be your mobile client. Uh, so that's that's pretty simple. It's really sleek looks. All right. Uh, and then let's take a look on this. This is going to be something special, the web client. I'm pretty sure more and more customers, they will like to use web client more because this is more flexible for, for them because, you know, the application means I still need to get the application, but the web client means I don't need to do anything there. I will be able to be connected directly. So web client, based on your web, you can use it for making calls. You can use it for a meeting. You can use it for operator panel, even for your call center. I mean, for everything. So how about me just uh, show you guys the live demo now? Okay, so just give me a sec. I'm going to switch it on the live demo. It's better for me to do that. Okay, now guys, take a look. As you can see, my screenshot has been switched on my browser now. Uh, it's going to be P570. Yeah, you start P570, right? So you guys can see this. Now, I'm not going to use the Super Administrator account to log into the system. I just want to show you guys the web client. So how about we use my user account, which is my extension number plus my password. Let's jump into the system as an individual user. All right, guys, now I'm staying in my house. I'm not in the office. And this P570 has been deployed in my office. Totally, I'm using this uh, web client uh, through the, the – this is definitely a remote access, of course. So since I mentioned this is going to be a remote access, now the first thing I want to I want you guys to take a look here is going to be this. Let me show you. Guys, just take a look on this. Forget about the interface. Take a look on this first. I just mark it for you guys. You guys can see this? Like I said, I'm accessing the PBX right now remotely, but I never use a public IP address or portfolio wording. All right? This is exactly the thing I mentioned before, remote access service. Special service for your PC system for remote working. That's pretty smart. You guys can see I don't have to configure anything on my network because that domain name is provided by Yaystar and it's encrypted. So that's so cool because it's very easy for end users to use it. We just simplify their configuration. You don't have to do anything there. You can stay over there, stay in your house, and you can use it directly, right? Real easy to use. And another point here is it's good for security, guys. If you try to configure portfolio wording by yourself, I'm pretty sure end users, they might probably mess it up. Because for network configuration, you will need to make sure you have a very strong security mechanism on your router. You will also need to make sure you have a very strong security system on your PBX. And you will also need to make sure portfolio wording works fine. And then you will also need to configure NAT, uh, and by the way, the port file wording means you will need to map a bunch of ports, not just one or two, a bunch of ports. It's really complex. It's really tricky. If there's anything wrong happen on your configuration, I guess you will probably mess it up. You will probably get your system be hacked by some crazy guys out there. That's not what we want. We don't want to get any trouble, right? 
and not just for me, not just for you, even for uh, extension users. I mean, no one's wanting any trouble there. So this solution definitely gives us a better user experience, uh, encrypted for a uh, encrypted private tunnel for your remote access. Uh, pretty smart. Okay. So this is the first thing I want to show you guys here, and uh, let's just keep going. All right, here we go. Now we're in this uh, web client. The first thing I want to talk about here is going to be the here. You guys can see extension. Extensions here, we have different extension groups. Means you can, uh, if you're the uh, super administrator, let's see the IT manager, you can create different extension groups and you can set the user permission for this particular extension user to manage different extension groups. For example, you guys can see, I have the user permission to see accounting, extensions, human resource, uh, sales, tech support, but I can never see anything about R&D or some other extension groups because I don't have the user permission to do that. So this is totally under our control. This is not just a web client for posting you everything. Yeah, we can definitely do that. We can post we can post whatever you prefer there, but we can make sure everything's under our control, right? And also this is going to be uh, for example, I also like extensions, so all the all of our users uh, who are working in this extension group will be posted right over here. So if I want to call them, I can just click on the button. I'll be able to call them directly here. Well, honestly, I'm not going to call them because I don't know who used the IP phone register on that. But anyway, if you want to call them, you can just do it right now, right now, right over here. And uh, you can also have a video call, not just an audio call. If you want to start a video call, you can definitely do it. Uh, so this is totally supported. And uh, no matter you're trying to use the audio call or, or, or video call, they're based on WebRTC. Uh, so it's pretty simple, uh, very easy to, to make it work. Okay. And another thing we have here is going to be the contacts feature. So you guys can see, like I said, all of your contacts will be synchronized on your link as uh, mobile client, PC client, and the web client. Uh, the only thing you're supposed to do there is just set the user permission to manage your contacts. Like I got the user permission to manage company contacts. So these contacts information are post right over here for me, are posted here. All right. So if I want to call any of them, I can definitely do it. Or I want to call someone else. Uh, someone else. I can also use the Dell pad here. Uh, just don't forget to set the trunk, set the outbound route for your PBX. Then you can make an external call. Okay. The next one is going to be video conference. Uh, this is uh, this is something special on our PC system as well for unified communication. Definitely. So if you want to use the video conference feature, it's right over here, all right? It's really easy to use, guys. This is something special, but it's something uh, really easy to use. So if you want to start a video conference, please click on this. Create instant meeting directly. Well, you guys cannot see my camera. I will show you. This is my camera. Well, I, my house is like a mess, all right? I know some of you guys probably say, hey, why don't you show us your face? I'm staying in my house, and uh, it's like a mask here because I never, I never organized those things, you know, those stuff. So, so that's why I just cover the the camera, all right. Uh, but I just want you, I just want you guys to know it works totally fine, all right. Because previously, some of you, some of you guys, I mean, last time maybe some people they told me, hey, why don't you show the camera? Well, this is the reason. Okay. Anyway, if you want to start the video conference, first thing you're supposed to do here is you can click on this button. Uh, go change your camera, go change your microphone if you prefer to do it. Now, you guys can see I got a big microphone here, which is a Shure MV7. Anyway, I can just select it so I, I get a professional microphone here, right? If everything's all set here, I can switch it back. I can choose to set a password for other participants. Uh, or let's just forget about that. I don't need a password. So I click on create. This is exactly the way how I'm going to get uh, started with this video conference. Uh, real easy to use, just like I mentioned before. Very simple. All right. You don't need to, I mean, you don't even need to learn what is the video conference. How do I get started? Uh, I think you jump into your web client. You just use your mouse click for a few clicks. There you go. Uh, this is also based on WebRTC, like I said. So we got an invitation link here. So if I want you guys to join the conference right now, I can just copy the invitation link and I can share it to you guys. You guys click on that link. You will use your browser jumping to this video conference directly. That's it. Pretty simple. All right. And uh, when we end the conference, we can control our mic, our camera. We can also use share screen features. So if you want to share uh, presentations or something, you can definitely click on this button. 
Uh, just wait a sec. Let me change my screenshot. Otherwise, I guess you guys probably cannot see it. Okay, now you guys can see my desktop. Now this is my desktop. So we can definitely use a uh, share screen button. Uh, here we go. So if you want to share the presentation or documents, whatever you prefer, click here. All right, that's it. Very easy to use. Uh, and this is the chat panel. Uh, I'm, I'm going to switch it back. Wait a sec. Okay, I think we're... I'm not so sure. All right, now now you guys can see. I, I just switch it back on my browser. So this is the chat chat button. If you click on that, you can also use the chat panel. Uh, you know, just free chat. Oh, uh, this is going to be your participants. So if you want to manage your participants, you can go ahead. Now with this, you can turn their camera off. You can mute them. Whatever you prefer, you can do it here. Uh, generally speaking, it's a very easy to use solution. I mean, video conference is really is quite unique, quite special on the PC system. It works pretty good, all right? Uh, but it's not that special. I mean, it's not that complex. It's a very easy to use solution, all right? It, it's, it, it looks pretty special, but it's very easy to use, all right? Then this is about the video conference feature. Another thing we have here is going to be the schedule. So if you want to set a schedule, uh, you can also create a meeting link here. Kind of like you just set a time schedule, reserve a meeting, uh, then you share the link to other participants so people, they can join the video uh, conference meeting link uh, like this. So you can invite your internal users or your external contacts. Anyway, just make sure you've already got the mailbox configured for every single one of them. Then you just invite them like this. You click on this. Uh, we're going to send the invitation mail to that guy. All right, by email, of course. So this is the video conference feature. And next one's going to be the operator panel. This is the operator panel, the thing I mentioned before. Uh, I guess nothing special, but this is, uh, this is pretty functional, very functional for people who's working as a uh, as a receptionist, you know, you're going to handle lots of incoming calls from your customer sites. Then about the call management, that's terrible, you know, that's really a headache. Then how about you use the operator panel? Everything will be posted right over here, your incoming calls, your internal calls, your ex external calls, your outbound calls anyway. Use your mouse control, guys. Use mouse click for whatever you want. All right, so this is the operator panel. I think it's uh, pretty simple. And uh, this is going to be the call center solution, which I mentioned before. Uh, so you also have the call center solution on the P-Series system. Don't forget it. This is a, exactly a visualized panel, which I was talking about before. When you try to use the call center solution, you're uh, don't forget to create a bunch of queues because this feature is based on your queue, right? You're going to use your queue to control your service center anyway. Then the, the point is we're going to show our agents working status by this visualized panel right over here. Totally 16 widgets. They're all customizable. If you want to make them smaller or bigger or delete them, just go ahead. Uh, very simple. And uh, some, some, some stats can be posted right over here, like SLA, active cost, available agents. Anyway, whatever you prefer to have, you can just definitely take a look on this panel. Uh, and also, by the way, if you want to post this panel out of your browser, for example, I will switch it back on my desktop again. So if you want to post this uh, Q panel, I I'm sorry, this war board out of your browser, you can click on this button. So there you go. If you have a big screen, you can definitely post this on your big screen. Show your agents, hey, guys, what's up? Take a look on this. This is our team performance. I guess we did a, you know, not good job. So just keep it going, all right? Uh, anyway, that was just an example. Okay. So next part we have for the call center solution is going to be the Q panel. Uh, this is going to be the Q panel. So what is the Q panel? The Q panel we have here is actually another visualized panel for people who manage this Q. Like if I'm a supervisor or manager. Anyway, what I prefer to have here is I will also want to have a visualized panel which can control everything, right? Because the warboard is just a real-time feedback. I want to have another visualized panel for helping me to control those agents. There you go. You're going to use the Q panel here. So all of your waiting costs, your active costs, your agent's performance, uh, dynamic agent, lock in, lock out, whatever you want, you can go ahead with this panel. Uh, so this is about the Q panel, right? Then the rest of them, are, I guess, are pretty simple, like your call locks, 
it will be synchronized from your PBX. So I made a bunch of calls. They're all synchronized over here. And this is going to be your voicemails. So if you have, you can take a look here. Uh, this is going to be recordings. Well, I don't have anything here. Then the last one is going to be your preferences. So here you can definitely change your avatar, your names, anyway. Uh, also here we got a function keys. You guys know that our solution today we're talking about is e A-Link and Yaystar, right? So if you register your A-Link phones on your uh, Yaystar P Service PBX, sometimes you probably want to set the function keys for your A-Link IP phones, right? We give you guys an easy way for doing that. Uh, normally, if you want to change some function keys on your Ailing phones, you're you're gonna you know configure it one by one. It's it's a little bit complex. Now you can use an easy way to set your Ailing phones this time. How about you just jump into your web client, right? Everything's based on our web client. Then for your Ailing phones configuration, you can also do it through our web client. That's easy. That I guess that's the easiest way for you to do it, right? I don't need to figure out the IP address of that IP phone. It's a little bit complex for me. Then I can actually jump into my web client here because this is exactly the panel what I'm going to use it for my daily work. So I can definitely change the you know function key for my IP phone directly here. That's pretty smart, right? Uh, anyway, I guess that's uh, you know a, a little bit brief uh, live demo, I guess. Uh, then I think I, I will switch it back on my presentations do you have something left here so let's take a look all right get back on my presentation guys about the video conference feature i think some of you guys may have a few questions about the video conference feature probably some of you guys just want to know hey how about the capacity of this video conference feature how many agents uh how many participants can we have there <coughs> excuse me maximally we're going to be able to have five participants in one video conference well, you probably just want to ask me, oh, only five participants? Is that possible for me to have 20 or 40 participants in the video conference? Uh, well, absolutely, if you want, technically you can do it, but we don't do it. The reason why, because it's over here. Let me explain to you guys here. First of all, video conference feature is so popular. That's why we need a video conference feature on the PCR system, right? We need a, such a dynamic solution, right? Because you guys can see 77% of attendees join video meeting through their smart devices, uh, laptop, desktop, anyway. So exactly this sort of video conference feature is exactly what our customers is looking for. It's not like a complex video conference. I need a camera. I need something. No, 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 no. We're not talking about that, especially under the current situation. We really want to have some sort of, you know, easy to go solution. There you go. Easy to go solution means you're supposed to use your smart devices to start it directly, right? So definitely this is a perfect solution on the S series, uh, I'm sorry, not S series PBX, on this P series PBX. All right. And another point, guys, 80% of employees use video calling for one by one meetings. I uh, mean, nine times out of 10, our customers, when they start a video conference uh, uh, for now, Mostly that video conference, it happens between two or three parties, I guess, maximally, because people, they really need a flexible solution for helping them to have this sort of instant face-to-face -face communication. That's why on PCR system, our video conference works in this way. We're just trying our best to design such a solution for our customers, what they're looking for. Uh, you know, because this is going to be a very dynamic uh, solution, still based on the telephony system. So we really want to make it be really powerful make it be really dynamic but still it's a telephony system all right it's not a it's not just a system for video conference only right not like that our target market is not not like that our target market is business users they need this flexibility they need instant face-to-face -face communication then i'm pretty sure this solution will be a perfect choice for every single one of them all right uh, this is a few advantages of this video conference feature. I guess I just showed you guys the live demo before. Uh, generally speaking, it's just an easy to go solution. You guys can see what I did before. Very simple, low threshold. If you want to use it, you can go ahead for that. You don't even need to learn it. I mean, for every single customer, I'm pretty sure if they see the interface, if they see this uh, web client panel, they can just use it directly. Very easy to go. All right. Uh, context management feature, by the way, I mentioned at the very beginning, just take a look here, all right. 
So this time on the P-series system, the context measurement is huge. Uh, like I mentioned, I guess on your P570, you will be able to have 500,000 company contacts maximally. And on your P550, you're going to have 50,000 company contacts. On your P560, you're going to have 200,000 company contacts. I mean, this is, uh, I mean, the capacity is huge, right? So definitely this is capable for, this is, I'm <laughs> sorry, this is capable for you to manage your contacts information for sure. All right. Advanced solutions we have on the P service system. Uh, I think I just uh, showed you guys before, but anyway, let's just go through this presentation. All right. Uh, some points, a few points. I just want to emphasize them. All right. First one is going to be remote access service. Don't forget this. All right, what is remote access service? Just like had displayed before, if you're going to work remotely, like what I'm doing now, I'm staying in my house. Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, I want to use this pen. Okay, that's what I want. So if you work remotely in your house with your mobile, your computer, your laptop, anyway, you're going to use Linkus. All right, I, I don't care which terminal you're going to use or which client you're going to use there, mobile client, PC client, or a web client. Anyway, means you're going to use your smart devices to access our PBX remotely, right? Normally, when you try to do that, you're supposed to make your PBX being accessible in the public network. That means you're supposed to get a public IP address here. You're supposed to get a private IP address here. Then you're supposed to build the connection between this IP and this IP. Means you're supposed to configure port forwarding plus NAT. It's really tricky, honestly. Uh, I mean, theoretically, it sounds really simple, but actually it's a little bit tricky. Lots of customers, they just made lots of mistakes on that. Because our technical support, they give us lots of feedback. They, they, usually they said... If there's an end user who tries to configure this port forwarding thing, pretty sure nine times out of 10, he will make mistakes there. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it sounds crazy, but sometimes, you know, our customers, they just made mistakes like that. So, and also the point, the real important point here is if you try to figure out port forwarding by yourself, it's not good for your security, honestly, because there's lots of possibilities for crazy guys, for hackers to attack your system through the public network. Right. Then if you care about your system, if you really care about your system and if you really care about the solution you can have on your PC or system, you want to have a better solution, a better user experience. Well, here we got an answer. The answer is just remote access control. With remote access control on the PC or system, you're going to work remotely, but not just remotely. You're also going to work securely because this Domain name, as I showed you guys before, that domain name is provided by Yaystar, and we put it in the private tunnel. So it's totally encrypted. This is good for security. Generally speaking, a few advantages we can get from this is going to be really easy to use, of course, user-friendly. And also domain name, you don't have to worry about that. We provide it to you. All right, you don't have to worry about domain name. Where can I get a domain name? Or right, don't worry about that. And also more importantly is, it's encrypted. It's good, good, good for your security. All right. And another advanced solution, I guess, take a look. I'm pretty sure this is also going to be a quite popular solution in our local market. It's going to be the integration between our PC system and Microsoft Teams. I'm pretty sure lots of customers, they just want to know, hey, that possible for us to figure out the integration between Microsoft Teams and uh, Yaystar PBX? The answer is yes. We do support that. So you can figure out this integration totally. Uh, well, today's not a technical training. I guess maybe we can talk about more technical details next time. Or you guys can check on our YouTube channel, our website. Anyway, we have some documentations talking about the integration. Anyway, point is, if you figure out the integration by yourself, then you will be able to use your Microsoft Teams for making costs totally because you got to something stay behind it, which is, yeah, you start P-Series PBX a really powerful communication platform for your unified communication. All right, so this is a pretty dynamic solution, I'm pretty sure. All right, then this is gonna be the call center solution. Like I said, all right, you will have the visualized panel totally for controlling everything. All right, uh, then next one. Once again, guys, we're talking about this solution is, uh, well, definitely it's not just based on Yaystar. Don't forget we are talking about this uh, kind of like a combo solution, right? 
take Yeti Star P Series PBX with A Link IP phones. Don't forget that. We got a pretty good compatibility with A Link IP phones uh, because I guess some of you guys have got a Yeti Star P Series PBX already. You can just take a look. So if you want to register your A Link endpoints on our PBX, go ahead with the auto provisioning. We got a pretty good compatibility, so it's very easy for you to deploy the whole solution in the office. All right. Uh, the next part, I guess, I will just hand it over to Bly to talk about our A-Link solution. All right. Uh, thank you very much for that, Jason. Appreciate the detailed slides and the uh, the live demo uh, for our customers. And uh, let's just wait for that to, to load on. So yes, I will be uh, discussing the uh, Yealink and Yeastar IP uh, phone solution. So without further ado, let's begin. Um, just for, for any of you um, who are unaware of uh, Yealink, they were founded in 2001. Uh, they are a platinum technical partner for Microsoft and their sole focus is dedicated to the one-stop UC solution. So they have a total of 1,250 uh, employees of which 50% are um, dedicated to the R&D department, uh, 100 plus patents specified in the VoIP industry, 100 plus distributors for the global delivery network, and of course 25 of the top 30 service providers that utilize uh, Yealink IP phones. And just to further emphasize um, what this means is the graph to your uh, right just um, paints a picture on the uh, performance year on year, stable profitability, and of course the significant um, growth that Yearlink has had, and of course the global number one SIP phone provider. So this is based on the market share by SIP desktop phone unit shipment. Okay, um, guys, so this, this slide will focus on the sort of communication and collaboration uh, solutions that the A-Link has in place. And just to begin from the very top right hand corner, we have the executive uh, office where we would recommend either the A-Link T58A or the flagship uh, A-Link VP59. And just uh, hovering down to the general office, the A-Link T5 series IP phones, uh, moving on to the uh, front desk, we may have a receptionist who has a requirement uh, for video. So we would recommend either the T58A with camera or if they just need a desktop IP phone with a number of VLFs and a large color screen, then we can recommend the T57W. And just moving on to sort of the common area, waiting area for, for customers. So the T4S, the very popular T4S series um, that have been heavily praised uh, by, by customers around the world. And just moving on to the uh, Teams collaboration, which would be in the form of the Yealink CP960 with the wireless deck mics that you see and of course the Yealink CP920. I guess what Yealink is um, hoping to emphasize here is that no matter what the budget, no matter what the requirement, they have a, a model in place uh, for you and for your customers. Okay, just moving on to the uh, the T5 series that we saw in the uh, previous image, we have what's the uh, called the flagship smartphone there, the Yealink VP59, followed on by the Yealink T58A and the T58A with camera. So the uh, models are exactly the same. One is bundled with a camera and one is bundled without. And of course, we've got the Prime Business Phone series just below, ranging from the standard T53, the T53W, the T54W, and of course, the T57W. For any of you uh, that aren't aware, the uh, W signifies it's wireless. So um, the next uh, three or four slides will just emphasize some of the uh, key features we have on the T5 series. Um, so just to begin with, the adjustable uh, large display, and as you can see to the image to your left, I'm spending too much time on adjusting the height of your table or your chair just to, to find a, a comfortable view under the different lighting conditions that you would typically expect in an office can sometimes be quite daunting and time consuming. 
So what Yalink have introduced is the um, adjustable uh, 4290 degree uh, LCD screen to meet the various lighting conditions and viewing angles. More importantly, to, to make your life a lot easier in the office and of course to protect your eyes. Um, so just to focus on the uh, built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, um, so this uh, essentially means that there's no need for any additional accessories for the uh, T5 series, which of course means you can make use of the uh, available USB port for, for other use. Uh, just bear in mind that the T53 uh, does not support uh, built-in Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, so you will be required to purchase a dongle if for any reason uh, you do need either of those uh, functionalities. Okay, and uh, just the uh, the corded cordless phone feature. So um, the Yealink T5 series have the ability to be transformed into a uh, decked base station. So with the addition of a DD10K dongle that you can see to the right of that phone there, you have the ability to register up to four additional uh, decked handsets. Uh, and as you can imagine in, in applications and scenarios such as retail stores or warehouses, this can be a very, very key uh, requirement for, for mobility. So you uh, in addition to using the desktop phone, you do also have that option of using these handsets and making use of that mobility, which is uh, most commonly required in these sorts of scenarios. And the satellite mode enables you to interchange uh, between your physical desk phone and your decked handset there. Should you get to wish, should you wish to get up, move around, uh, make use of mobility and talk off your uh, decked handset as opposed to your um, physical desk phone. So a very, very nice feature for, for Yaling to introduce depending on uh, what the customer prefers to do. The acoustic uh, shield is uh, makes use of multiple microphones to create a virtual shield between the speaker and the outside sound source. I have personally used uh, this uh, feature and I can confirm it does work really, really well. Um, ideal for busy and noise, uh, noisy workspaces like call centers, a factory which has uh, a lot of machinery and of course the stock exchange you can see in that example there. Uh, a very handy feature for, for these types of um, environments and a very nice feature to have on the T5 series IP phones. Okay, and uh, we will now move on to the uh, T3 series IP phones um, recently released uh, by Yealink. And in the images that we can see here, we have the T30P, the T31G, and of course the T33G. Uh, some of the key enhancements uh, to this new series include new hardware in the form of CPU, uh, a stronger computing ability to cater for any future enhancements or upgrades, the use of the EHS 35 for wireless headsets, and of course the uh, color screen which is available to you on the T33G. And uh, lastly, we have the ability to manage uh, the T3 series on the device management platform. So uh, um, a platform that Yealink provide, giving users the ability to, to manage, maintain uh, a large proportion of uh, IP phones on a, a central management platform. So for any of you that, uh, that, that aren't aware, the P signifies PoE, and of course the, the G in this case signifies it's a, a gigabit phone. So just a broad overview of some of the phones we've discussed in the uh, webinar so far. We have the T33G, the T53, T54, 57, and T58, and of course the VP59. And just a broad overview that uh, the like-for-like -like, uh, comparisons you can see for, for Panasonic, Panasonic on your far right. Uh, a very handy comparison if you are hoping or looking to move over to Yealink, you know exactly what to buy uh, should the need arise. And we'll uh, talk about some of these sort of advantages to these phones and uh, in the next uh, three or four slides.
So uh, to begin with, the uh, T33G and we have what's called the Panasonic's KX HDV 130. Uh, we've of course got the uh, the 2.4 inch uh, color LCD screen, the uh, additional uh, SIP accounts, uh, the additional uh, line keys in comparison to that model, and of course we've got the the five-way conferencing. Should that be a requirement for any of your customers? Some of the competitive advantages there, of course, include the paper label free design and the uh, increase in the line keys that uh, are provided. And of course, as always, uh, technical support uh, directly from Yealink if, uh, if that's of uh, requirement. Okay, we've got the uh, T53 and the Panasonic KX HDV230, and just some of the key um, improvements we can see here are the additional uh, SIP accounts on offer, the four soft key, uh, which can be uh, soft keys, sorry, which can be found directly below the LCD screen. And of course, the uh, option to uh, implement Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, should that be of requirement. Of course, we do have an advantage on the Panasonic there with the uh, programmable keys, uh, but obviously the advantages given to you on the T5 are obviously a lot more uh, than uh, shown on the Panasonic there. And just some competitive advantages, of course, the, the better display, the grayscale screen is very vivid, uh, very clear uh, to understand what's uh, programmed on your phone. And of course, the support for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, should there be a requirement for that? And of course, the, uh, the technical support given to you directly uh, by Yealink. Okay, uh, moving on to the uh, T54 and the T57 and comparing to the KX UTG uh, 300 and some of the key uh, improvements we can see, of course, is the uh, seven inch uh, color display on the T57W, the increase in the uh, number of SIP accounts on offer, and uh, the Opus codec, which is more and more uh, common and gaining a substantial amount of popularity uh, in the VoIP, uh, VoIP world. And of course, the built-in Bluetooth uh, dual band Wi-Fi and uh, the uh, competitive advantages to this, of course, is the uh, better uh, display, uh, the support for Android and IPv6, so, so powerful uh, networking features, and of course, the built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and lastly, the uh, technical support given to you by Yealink directly. And we've got the uh, Yealink T58V, uh, so this is the video-capable uh, IP phone with a 7-inch uh, touchscreen with an adjustable angle, uh, as we previously discussed, and this was also running on the Android uh, operating system with, of course, a plug-and-play camera, um, a substantial amount of uh, DSS keys on offer, and uh, the uh, video codec um, accompanying by the H.264, H.264 high profile, and of course the uh, the new VPH uh, that's on offer. So a, a substantial uh, amount in terms of the feature set on offer by Yealink, and just some just to summarise some of the competitive advantages there, being the better display, the the user experience, and the integration uh with with the star and of course the uh support given to you by yearlink directly should you run into uh, any any issues okay uh so just moving on to the adept uh, product portfolio so this is their one-stop uh voip a uh, voice solution sorry and just to begin, we will have a look at the bottom right-hand corner. We have the on-the-go business uh, single cell uh, offering uh, by Yealink in the form of the uh, W60P, which is the model to your left, and the W53P. The main uh, difference between the two is, of course, the W53H bundled with the W53 is, is a lot smaller in terms of handset size. Then just moving on to uh, the wireless uh, conference phone, the CP930W for all of your conferencing needs. Of course, it being decked, there are absolutely no wires. You can purchase this particular model on its own or as part of a, uh, a bundle with the W60B. This is also uh, a, a, has a, a charging cradle 
so it can physically be picked up and taken um, as and when uh, of conference may be required. Then moving on to the uh, desk decked phone in the form of the W41P and the DD phone 54W, making use of the DD10K. So for any customers who prefer a, a physical desk phone as opposed to using a, a, a a W56H or a W53P with, for that mobility, they also have that option. So a very nice um, alternative from Yaling for anybody who prefers to use a, a physical desk phone, someone that's comfortable um, with that setup and with that approach. And then moving down to the multi-cell uh, offering in the form of the W80 and the W90. And of course, the, the, the key differences uh, between the single cell and uh, the multi-cell offering is the seamless roaming and handover and the substantial amount of capacity and base stations that form uh, a multi-cell network. And we also have below there uh, a ruggedized uh, handset um, from Yealink known as the W59R. Obviously, this one, this particular model, uh, dust, uh, shock, and uh, water resistance. So very, very handy uh, product for, for things such as warehouses where you can imagine there being a lot of machinery and um, often the phone can physically fall out of your pocket and, and you you can damage it. So this this works really well in those sorts of environments. So some common applications for a, a multi-cell network or a single cell uh, network would be an authorized car dealership, a, a large retail, a hotel, or even a warehouse where you need um, constant coverage, you need the mobility uh, just, to, just to make your uh, life easier from a, from a working perspective. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so we have a, a very uh, brief overview of a multi-cell uh, topology here. We have what's called the W80DM. So the main responsibility uh, for this ba uh, base station would be to maintain system resources, call control, uh, base synchronization, and the uh, SIP accounts. So this this has a very important role in the multi-cell network um, to, to maintain that infrastructure. And what we have below are the uh, base stations. And their sole purpose um, would be to just transfer media traffic amongst one another. And just to summarize the uh, number of handsets uh, on offer, we have ranging from the W53H up into the CP930 conference phone. And of course, you've got the uh, optional uh, desk phones, should you wish to, to use that as opposed to using um, a W53 or a W56H, for example. So just some very basic um, uh, information on the capacity. We have up to 30 base stations, up to 100 handsets, uh, up to 100 SIP accounts, and up to 100 parallel calls. So this is the W80 um, that I've referenced in this example. Uh, so in, in to uh, a large capacity uh, to begin with, so a number of base stations can be formed uh, for this multi-cell network. And if you do require something uh, substantially bigger, then you can also look at the W90, which gives up to 60 base stations and a significant amount more uh, in terms of handsets, uh, SIP accounts, and your parallel calls. So for any of you um, who are currently using a W52P or are looking to uh, purchase a, a single cell uh, decked handset or a base station, we have of course the uh, upgrade from the W52P and the W53P at a, a very similar price point. So you can make use of some of the features which include quick charge, <laughs> 
up to eight handsets per base, eight sipicants, and of course up to eight simultaneous calls. So you are getting a substantial upgrade uh, for a, a fraction of the price. Okay, and just to give you guys a, a brief overview and some noticeable uh, differences between the W53P and the Panasonic KX TGP600, we of course have the um, increased uh, decked cordless handsets and of course up to eight concurrent calls and uh, eight SIP accounts. We also have the base local phone book up to 800 uh, entries and an increased uh, talk time uptime of 18 hours and of course the uh, quick charging functionality which in my experience is very very handy and works really really well and of course the uh, the three-way conference and um, more importantly for the purposes of coverage we have up to six repeaters uh, we can add uh, to a uh, to this uh, single cell base station and not only that you can potentially uh, cascade daisy chain up to one additional um, base station to give you that added coverage uh, and and peace of mind so just some competitive advantages to to summarize but of course we have the the local phone book to support up to 800 contacts the uh, remote book uh, functionality and of course the uh, the crucial um, support and coverage uh, in the form of the yealink rt30 and and all, as always uh, technical support uh, given should you need that uh, any time down the line Okay, and the NFR, uh, not for resale um, program on offer by Yealing. So we have uh, a, a number of models here that you can purchase and uh, get familiar with. Just some key requirements of this promotion, of course. Uh, it uh, applies to any customers who haven't uh, tested them uh, before. Uh, we have a maximum of uh, one piece uh, each of each model uh, with regards to the uh, the multi-cell offering of course you will require one WATDM and of course two uh, WATP base stations um, to to make use of the the multi-cell uh, feature on offer by Yealink so um, the NFR program, in my opinion, is uh, is an ideal uh, application to, to not only increase your own knowledge, um, whether that be uh, for you or for any internal staff, uh, for the purposes of training on a test bench, just to get familiar with your product, to build your own confidence and knowledge. But it also gives you the opportunity to showcase these models uh, to, to any new or existing customers, to, to bring in any new business. So I think that's the, the, the beauty of the NFR program because you can make uh, so much use of uh, the equipment here that's on offer for any of your um, sales staff, uh, for any of your new or existing customers. Okay, and the uh, Yealink Incentive Project Support. So if you do have any up and coming uh, opportunities uh, or projects for a quantity of Yealink uh, IP phones, please get in touch for uh, various levels of uh, pricing support. Of course, this will be down to the, uh, the project volume, the models in question, of course, the deployment domain. And just to summarize there that if you do register a product project opportunity to Yealink or a uh, one of their registered distributors, you can get up to 8% discount directly according to your uh, project support policy. So please get in touch if any of these offers uh, do interest you. Um, they are uh, very popular and I, I definitely think people should take this on board, especially if you're you're new to Yealink and you are looking to get familiar with the product. And of course, uh, Jane, sir, Jason uh, rightly mentioned the, the integration uh, with the Yealink is uh, very, very powerful and the products and appliances do work really, really well with one another. Okay, just some um, contact information here for Yealink if you do need to get in touch about any issues, uh, product inquiries, and of course the uh, promotions. Uh, please feel, feel free to let us know and, and um, we'll be happy to assist in any way we can.
Then the next part here I would like to talk about here will be the use cases of our Yay Star solution. Uh, plus, of course, like I uh, introduced you guys before, all right, don't forget to take Yay Star, uh, Elink. That's a comprehensive solution. All right. Now, as for use cases, uh, I guess this might be a little bit delay, and you guys probably need to wait for a few sec. Then you can see my screenshot. But anyway, I would just start talking about first. All right. For use cases, you know, like I mentioned before, the Yaystar P series system is a really dynamic and powerful system. For uh, you know, it, it, it has it has embedded with all the key telephony features. So of course, for people who's working in the office, if you're looking for a communication platform for daily work for daily communication in your office, definitely this this is going to be a pretty good choice. This is going to be a really powerful solution with no doubt totally IP based solution and it's really dynamic it's really flexible for you to have some customization if you want to have a hybrid solution and if you have a bunch of ailing phones like I said before they can be deployed in the same local area network by using auto provisioning pretty simple we got this pretty good compatibility all right and for some people who's running a service center, like uh, I'm a business owner, I get a bunch of people that work in the sales department or tech support. Means they're going to provide a consulting services to customers every single day. Well, absolutely, our answer will be the p system. You know, we have the built-in call center solution, right? So you get the p system, it's really powerful for helping you to handle queue service. I mean, you have lots of agents, right? You can use call queue feature to handle incoming costs, well, distribute your costs to agents directly, right? According to your configuration. And also don't forget the call center solution. It will help you to generate the data report so you'll be able to figure out your agent's performance, your team performance anyway, because uh, we can get the report. That's very important, right? You will have the real-time feedback. You will also have the visualized panel to control it. And uh, eventually you're gonna get the statistics uh, from the system. All right, easy for you to manage everything. And the next one will be the remote working, all right? For people who need a flexibility, who need a mobility, like I mentioned, of course, this is exactly the answer for that question, right? So if you're working remotely or you are you're, you're, you're need some mobility, let's see, sometimes we may, we may need mobility. And I'm pretty sure this solution, remote working solution, is not just a popular solution for the current situation. I'm pretty sure even in the future after pandemic issue, remote working is going to be quite popular because lots of customers, global customers, I guess they just, they've already started getting used to, to this remote working, you know, scenario like that. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be more and more popular. And uh, the way how we work, the way how we communicate will definitely be more flexible, will definitely be more dynamic. So I'm pretty sure remote working solution, that will be a future trend. That will be the future trend, of course. And if you take the piece of the system, definitely that's going to be the answer for your solution. Uh, that's going to be the answer for your questions, definitely. And let's take to the next page. I guess probably a few sec. Uh, I'm sorry about that once again. The next page here, let's just talk about the UC solutions for different industries. All right. Uh, this is going to be something similar with our S-Series PBX. Previously, our solution is called S-Series PBX. We got that model, let's do remember. Now, P-Series system, it's definitely capable for helping you guys to do different projects for different industries because we got lots of successful cases based on S-Series PBX. Now, think about it. P-Series system is more powerful. So, of course, if you get a project for a university, for high school, for government users, public service, healthcare, hospitality, anyway, you take the P-Series, deploy it in their office, and you can take some other endpoints, I'm pretty sure. Like uh, like we can take E-Link IP phones. We can take some other endpoints. We can put them all together. That will be a comprehensive solution with no doubt for the project, of course, right? Uh, so, and the uh, next one, guys. Next one will be this one. Uh, this is also going to be a special offer, kind of like a special offer we provide to you guys. Uh, it's called Yaster Demo Apply. So what is a Yaster Demo Apply? Take a look on this. Previously, I just showed you guys the live demo. Uh, I guess probably some of you guys uh, may not have a good user experience on my live demo because of the network issue. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, but don't worry about that. We give you guys this ch this this chance. <laughs> you guys can actually apply for our live demo. That's a free live demo. You can apply for it. So take a look on this page. All right. 
So you guys will simply just click on this link on my presentation right now. I will share this presentation to you guys later. All right, so you guys can simply just click on this link. Uh, this is going to be the place where you can submit your application. So you will be able to apply for our Yaystar P-Series system live demo for yourself. Mace, today I just give you guys a live demo. I just show you guys what does it look like. And uh, tomorrow you can actually click on the link. You can join to this live demo uh, kind of like a program. Anyway, uh, you can actually just jump into the system directly for the live demo directly. I mean, you can just try the system directly. So you'll be able to use our, you know, a few things like uh, key features I mentioned before. So like link as UC clients. Uh, first of all, you can get the link as UC application from Google Play, App Store, right? You can you can just use it directly. Secondly, is if you apply for this live demo, you can definitely use the web client. Don't forget to use the web client. All right, that's pretty simple. You don't even need an application. Just use your browser, jump into the system directly, and you can have. Uh, you know, just give it a try. You can have a WebRTC video call, WebRTC audio call. You can use our remote access service, which is the special domain name for remote access. Just give it a try. And also you can try our video conference feature, which I displayed in today's live demo before, right? So anyway, extension access will invalidate in 14 days, like I posted here. So you can definitely just give it a try there. Two weeks, I guess. Two weeks, you can try whatever you prefer to do, all right? Uh, once again, it's pretty simple. You guys can click on the link I posted on this page. Submit your application. All right. And also, besides, we give you guys, you guys can see each extension has 50 minutes call limitation. So you can also have 50 minutes for making calls. Just give it a test. All right. So this is a, a very special offer in today's session. Oh, uh, and also by the end, guys, by the end of today's session, here's our contacts. If you guys want to know more details about our Yaystar solution or some technical questions may not be clear today or you want to give us a feedback anyway, I post our contacts here. You guys can contact Aria. She's our country manager who's in charge of the local market. And you guys can also drop a mail to Jane if you need some technical support or some questions or you want to have a discussion with us about our piece of system or some feedback, whatever you prefer to do there, please just drop your message, drop your mail to, uh, you know, those guys. All right. So this is about our contacts. All right. So I guess that was all we have for today's session. And uh, once again, guys, I'm so sorry about today's terrible network issue. This is, uh, I mean, this is kind of like out of my, out of, all of, all of my control. I'm sorry about that. All right. Uh, but anyway, once again, just don't forget to try this. All right, we have this special offer for you guys, which is a live demo. Uh, it's the actual live demo. So you guys click on the link, submit the application, so you will be able to join this, uh, you know, live demo program. All right, you can start the free trial by yourself. Okay, so I guess that was all I have for today's session, and you guys can take a look, see if there's any other questions. You can. Drop your questions in the chat panel. And by the way, I will uh, I will show you guys this presentation in the handouts. Just give me a sec. I'm gonna I'm gonna just upload the handouts. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna upload this the presentations to the uh, go to webinar handouts. So literally, you guys can download it from the handouts. So just give me a sec. <clears throat> All right, guys, it's uploading now. Uh, probably take a few sec or a few minutes. I'm sorry, poor network today. So you guys can take a look, see if there's any other questions. Uh, just a note on uh, my behalf. Um, sorry about the, the delay, guys. Um, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, the webinar and got something constructive from that. Uh, thank you to Jason on your support and assistance uh, throughout that. I appreciate thank it. You. And uh, hopefully everyone takes something away from that today. Um, and you've enjoyed the webinar. And once again, apologies uh, to everybody on the delay um, that uh, you've experienced in, in the uh, session today. Yeah, sorry guys, sorry about the network issue. And uh, actually, I guess you guys can download the handouts. Uh, I'm not so sure whether you guys can see it. 
Uh, on my side, it's uploaded. I guess probably network issue. It might be a few sec, but you guys can just give it a try there. See if you can see the handouts in the. I'm sorry, you can see the presentation in the handouts. Uh, now you can download the presentation, the slides I'm using today from the handouts. All right, then, guys, I guess that was all we have for today's session. And uh, once again, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining today's session. And uh, like I said before, don't forget to click on the link, which I posted in the presentation, to apply for our demo program. All right. Uh, once again, thank you so much for your time. And uh, I guess that was all we have for today's session. Have a nice day and take care.